So that means also that we can start doing other things. So let's just say, let's start getting more with the territory. So control W. Then I'm going to go to scale, click. And now I'm going to press control and the center dot. Uh-oh. Are they messing it? Hold on one sec. Okay. All right. So let's do it this way. So I'm not messing. We're not wasting too much time. Uh, I've isolated this. Now I'm going to focus on just that one group. I'm going to shrink it. Control W. So I've got this extra loop. You know, you can you can group this again if you want to keep the colors kind of separate. Let's come in. I'm going to select this guy, control, and it's not letting me. Because, Ryan, you have mask by poly group on. Actually, <laughs> I will get this. Okay. Now, you guys, you just witnessed me make a really big blunder in terms of like um, demo spokesman people. We would we would all laugh at each other and snicker. I'm gonna look over here and see in the. Um, seen the questions if anybody pointed this out. No, nobody got me. All right. So what I was trying to do was extrude out this piece. And somewhere in my brain, I was thinking, well, it's just going to extrude out that, that poly group. So I was pressing control and that middle button and dragging out. And it was not. Instead, it was literally duplicating the model, which is what it does. But what we want to do is extrude. So if you control click on the center model, you're going to duplicate it. If you control click on this on, on outside on the poly group, it's going to mask everything else. And then you can control click on that center dot, and it will extrude pieces for you. So I can come into scale, for example, scale that in. Notice how I had to turn LSIM on. Let me make sure you're really clear on that. If LSIM is not on and you press control and you scale, it's going to scale in and out. If LSIM is on, then it's going to take this little guy as a center and everything gets scaled in. So now, control, click, I'm going to scale that in, move, control, click plus shift and I'm gonna move that in and then I'm gonna just for safety sake I'm gonna do that again and what I just did in terms of extruding so that there was one ring and two rings is recommended uh, and that's just so that you get a cleaner form you have more surfaces you could for example control shift you press a little bit and then you go even longer and then a little bit. So that way you get an edge loop right at the edge, here, here, and here. This is old world thinking from box modeling days where you had to really get edge loops right next to each other. But I can tell you that, and you already saw it, the algorithms are now looking to see, to say basically, all right, we have a hard edge here, so I know, I, as in I am ZBrush, I know that there is a hard angle there. The surface is changing at a 90 degree angle. I don't need an extra edge loop in there. I'm, you know, I'm ZBrush. I'm, I know what's going on. I'm with it. I don't need that extra edge loop. I know that I'm going to keep that form intact, and my algorithms are smarter than my uh, max or XSI. So, that extra edge loop is becoming less and less relevant.
But with that done and said, what's not less and less relevant is the polygroup. So you can see how right now I have one polygroup for that whole thing. So if I come in and I say mask by, uh, or I say polish by feature, well, I, I lose that edge. That edge is gone. So you need that edge. Okay. And the way you're going to do that is start to grow or shrink your selection. In this case, I'm going to select this little piece here and I'm going to grow it, grow it, grow it until it's not the right one, then undo. And then I just press Control Shift and I hide that guy. Control W. I now have a poly group, deformation, polished by feature. Oh wow, that's awesome. Now, let's isolate this and now I'm going to come around. I'm going to turn local back on. Okay, something like that. Control W. So what is that going to do? It's going to give me kind of some bit of a nice edge there. Let's turn polyframe off. Step out. Take a good look at that. And I'm going to switch to move brush, mask by poly group, and press alt. I'm just going to turn curve, accu curve off. Okay, let me check in with you guys. All right, what do you think of the polish by feature, the groups, the extrude, um, and the visibility function? This is, isn't necessarily new but it is a little bit of a hidden uh, gem. And uh, you'll see Pixelogic really demoing that. And, um, and there's a couple of things that I think are really important. You know, there's, uh, there's some problems in this model that I think are really important that I could have done another way. But before I show you those, let me check in with you guys. Give me a shout out. Is the feature new to you, uh, useful to you? or not useful. And what we're talking about really is polished by feature and really working those poly groups. All right. So the key is, as uh, Paul is saying, um, is understanding that panel loops are not the end-all, be-all. In fact, really, if you want solid form, it's groups that become really important, and this polish by feature, you know, that becomes really, 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 really important. And also, how you create these um, these uh, these groups. So let's say in here I'm going to select this and uh, let's go poly groups or not let's go visibility you'll see shrink you know which is also the hotkey is uh, um, is the brackets control W and I notice I do not have edge loops so if I go into deformation polish by feature you know there we go but I can use move and this really works quite nicely. Like I don't have to have an edge loop and it still gave me what is effectively an edge loop. All right. Let me look through your questions. All right, good. I see it. Okay, so now with that demonstration in place, let's look at a couple of other ways to do this. Okay, let's say for example, we really want to be clean and clear about what we're doing. There's a couple of different types of activities. 
one in one area we want to create separate parts right so we know that this is a window and we're going to want to create a separate part for that that's something we're going to want to do in another area we're going to want to create creases okay this is definitely part of the process um, where we would want to have a very clean edge here or a very clean edge there uh, in another case we want to kind of um, set ourselves up for you know different levels of form I mean uh, let's just extrude let's say extrusions so we'll want to create extrusions separate parts create creases create extrusions uh, and then there's detail work the stuff that you see here I would not do again that's kind of stuff that you would do in a, is detail work. So we're going to take this. We're going to do this over again, keeping in mind these four tasks, and really kind of approach this from a, a little bit more of a structured um, perspective. So 